What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles if I got the chance to, because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and old do you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the BF Injection. So this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one and can be purchased from the Severn San Andreas website for 16000 or of course you can get it off the street for free. Now the injection name was first introduced in GTA 3 and was also featured in Vice City, GTA Advance, San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, and Vice City Stories as well. However, the one we have in GTA 5 is a different model. Now in terms of variants, there are two main ones. The first one has a simple back end with the exhaust coming out of the back of course, and then the second variant adds an antenna and also changes the exhaust as well to a vertical setup which is pretty cool. Now to my knowledge, unless you use a glitch, normally you can only get the vertical exhaust if you get the antenna and vice versa. So again. You're forced to get the antenna with the exhaust. You cannot have the upgraded exhaust by itself or the antenna by itself. You have to have both. And lastly, the faded slash rusty texture does change on some of them. However, there is no perfectly clean one. Now, other than those variants, this car doesn't really have any visual customization options, which is pretty unfortunate. However, with the existence of the BF Weevil, I think it's not too big of a deal that this one doesn't offer any customization. However, I will mention that the injection is actually a lot faster than the Weevil, plus it also has more ground clearance, which the Weevil does not offer. Now the Weevil does offer off-road style customization, however you can't lift it, like the height of the injection, so I suppose the injection is still worth considering owning depending on what you want to use it for. Also, as I've stated in the past, my goal is to review every car in the game, which we're getting really close to at this point. Again, I will leave a list down below in the comments of cars that I haven't done yet. Now, in terms of performance, the injection is again in the off-roads class, and is actually a pretty quick vehicle being in top 20 for that class around the pace of the Riata and the Insurgent, which is very impressive for an OG vehicle. But anyways, in terms of what the injection is based on, is primarily based on various VW Beetle Baja bugs, which is honestly pretty cool. Those things are made <laughs> for off-roading like sand dunes and stuff like that, so very, very cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the injection. All right, BF right injection course with the antenna and the uh, exhaust that's the variant we're customizing here all right armor brakes engine uh, horn we'll skip lights I think we'll leave the yellow lights um, plates I'll throw my muddy plate on here you know it is an off-roader kind of makes sense where is it there it is respray now again we do have that sort of like um, faded paint slash rusty texture on there so um, it, but it's not as bad as like the typical rusty cars we see, like the Dune Loader, for example, that we customized recently, or the Rusty Rebel. Um, so I think you can get away with doing a, you know, a glossy paint on here. You, you don't have to do matte. Um, I think it's fine to go with another color. So I'm gonna go with a metallic. I'll go down here. We're gonna go with a metallic dark blue. And then pearlescent, I want to brighten it up just a little bit. I think um, the ultra blue is a little overkill. I'm going to do the racing blue just to brighten it up a tad. Um, I think that looks fantastic. And then the secondary color for this car is um, sort of like the stripes on the hood. And then the, f the fender flares, which actually looks pretty cool. So I'm going to do that. I was thinking of making it match, but I feel like it, it looks... Uh, let me go the other way. I feel like it looks very strange. I'll show you guys here. I feel like it needs that contrast. It just looks really weird when you make it all match. I don't know. I feel like it looks a bit, I mean, decent, but I think the um, the separation there is pretty cool. So I'm going to go with a, a classic frost white. Not ice white. I think that's a bit too bright. I think the frost white looks 
fantastic on there. Actually, let's also check how does Diamond Blue look on here. I didn't I didn't see that one. Eh, a little too bluish, I think. I think the let's go with the frost white. Yeah, but well, looks fantastic on there. A Kremlin for this car goes on the door, and that's a big emblem. Jesus. <laughs> Usually they're a bit smaller than that. That's a giant Kremlin for the injection. Well, good to know. Um, suspension, you can lower it if you want. I don't know why you'd want to lower an off-roader, but I'm going to keep it stock. Transmission, turbo, wheels. So this is the controversial part of this car. Uh, you actually cannot normally change the wheels on this car, unfortunately. So you can see that the wheels, they do match. The, the, the rear one, though, is a bit wider. And, of course, the tires are different on both. The rear tire is more of like an off-road tire. Um, and then the front tires are more like a street tire. So this setup is known, like, on certain Baja runs up sand dunes and stuff. They do sort of like tire setups like this. Um, so, you know, the rear has all the grip, like endless grip. Uh, so that, that's a pretty cool reference there. Now, for those of you who do uh, merge glitches and stuff like that, you can merge whatever wheels you want on here. And here's some samples of what that looks like. Um, so you can merge F1s on there, normal wheels, off-roads, whatever you want to do. And, and honestly, when I see you, it kind of makes me a bit, like, <laughs> upset. Because if, if it's possible, and it doesn't even look that bad, why doesn't Rockstar allow us to do it? I mean, it's just little things that just makes no sense to me but uh, it is an OG car so I doubt Rockstar is ever gonna touch this again um, just is what it is but but honestly here um, I don't think the stock setup looks that bad I think it's pretty unique you know the rear off-road tire with the front stock looking tire I think it's kinda cool the only thing is I wish we could have changed the wheel color and that's the one thing I wish they would have allowed us to do but other than that um, I don't think it's that bad uh, tire design, you cannot change that because obviously it's forced on a stock wheel. Uh, you can do bulletproof tires if you want, and you can also do tire smoke, but that's all you can do in the wheel category. And that's all the options there. Not even window tints. Huh. I did not notice that until now. Wow. This probably has the least customization out of <laughs> any car in GTA that you can actually bring into a custom shop. That's kind of wild. So no, no window tint no wheels so you, you can only do per performance mods and paint that's it nothing else and, and license plate and lights but just just the typical stuff wow that's kind of wild all right let's let's take it for a drive here um the, the thing about the injection that i do like other than the crazy look of it um is it's it's fast you don't expect it to be this fast it is a rear wheel drive by the way and i mean for being an og stock little off-roader this thing is a beast it is properly quick for what it is. I mean, look at this. Why is that emperor? Oh, okay, he was turning there, but geez, there you go. It's fast turning there. Look at how. Oh! That banshee spawned late, right? Or was it the. the sh sh I couldn't see it because it was in the shade? I don't know. That was weird. Uh, but this this thing is very, very quick. My lights still work? Yeah, okay, good. But this thing is properly fast forward as the banshees are out to get us today. <laughs> and of course, since it's known for off-roading, you can go over any bumps you want, um, go on a little dirt, and like no problem, it barely slows you down. It's very stable over, if I go over this back and forth. Yeah, a little air, but I mean, very, very stable here. Oh, I made it through that, but I hit the car on the other end. <laughs> Threading the needle, I did it right. Didn't anticipate the traffic, but um, and, and the off-road traction loss isn't that bad, so it's very, very quick. Even when you go on the dirt, I I think this is a fun vehicle to own. Just a shame that it doesn't have um, any customization. Can't even change the damn wheels normally. <laughs> I mean, come on, Rockstar. But again, OG vehicle, you kind of have to expect that and stuff like this. Look at this. See, this is the fun part of this vehicle. Just not caring, going over whatever you want at full speed. And a plus, let me go back to that ruin or guess. Oh, here's, here's another one because that's pretty low front end. Uh, because of the height of this thing, you can actually climb vehicles that have a low front end. Look at that. <laughs> oh, but in a, in, a, in a little VW Beetle that's lifted, I think, I think that's hilarious. Here we go, here we go. Let's see if we can do like a two combo here. 
Oh yeah! <laughs> I think that's awesome. This thing, it's, it's a hidden little gem, like the Doom Loader, because uh, it has, you know, the, the working snorkel. This car, because it's, it's good at off-roading, it can climb things. Uh, those two are like hidden little OG vehicle gems. It's just a shame that they don't have any customization, which is the main reason why people kind of like forget about them. <laughs> but this is this is this is max speed right now. Look at how fast we're going. That's that's impressive if you ask me for an OG off-roader. And as a matter of fact, just to put it into perspective, um, it's not as quick around like a track, for example. But if we're talking just top speed, this thing has. The same top speed maxed out as a maxed out desert raid, and almost the same top speed as a, as a trophy truck. So I mean, that's awesome. Very, very cool. Free off the street. I think this is a great little off-roader to own. But um, let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff here. I wonder if it can climb that over there, actually. Wait, I want to try that really quick. Should be able to, even though it's kind of steep. Let's see here. Ooh, I don't know. Like no problem. Wow, that's that's impressive. Okay, well let, let's try, let's try even more steep. We're gonna press our luck here, but might as well give it a shot. Um, let me try doing doing this. Oh yeah, yeah, that's where it kind of gave up there. But I mean overall, that that's still very impressive. A little speed, not that big of a deal. Wow. You know, this is free off the street. <laughs> Fully maxed out. You're not even 100k in this thing. Um, and if you buy it, even if you buy it, you're still not even 100k in this thing if you don't put the armor upgrade. I mean, that's that's impressive, if you ask me. Let's see if, if the front compartment opens. I don't even know. Vehicle doors. Let's go all. Oh, so the front compartment doesn't open. That's a shame. Kind of expected though, and of course nothing back here because it's already open. So here's the interior. I didn't even show that in first person. My bad. Let me let me go back here so you guys can see. So it is a muscle car interior, but it's the kind of like worn out, um, you know, muscle car interior with like the radio missing and all that. So they use this interior on like a lot of the rusty muscle car variants and stuff. But yeah, the door panels peeling there, so. Pretty cool, and the seats and everything's the same. Now the engine model, uh, from far away it looks pretty decent, but when you start to get up close, texture quality, again this was made in 2013, so <laughs> can't expect much, but this exhaust pipe, that texture quality is not that great, I mean you can literally see the polygons in it. <laughs> it's not the greatest, that's a little, yeah, not, not the best. And then the engine model, when you get really up close, it's not really all that great. Um, yeah, I, I guess the BF Weevil kind of fixes most of that. However, um, you, you don't get, you, you don't have a, so you, uh, the BF Weevil does offer, just to clarify here, because I know I'm going to get the comments, the BF Weevil does offer like off-road style parts, a similar from uh, bumper bar here to the, the uh, injection, um, and a lot of like off-road-esque parts, even something similar to the rear here. But you can't lift the weevil, so that's that's the main difference there. Plus, this is faster, so I really wish they would give this thing an update or at least give us the option to lift <laughs> the weevil. That'd be kind of cool, or maybe like a separate, maybe like a weevil you can bring into Benny. Oh, we, well, that's right, we have the weevil rat rod. I forgot about that. <laughs> a weevil you can bring into Benny's, the rat rod. But they're both like low normal compact slash muscle cars this is the only like off-road version of it and um you know that's lifted high and you, there really isn't any customization to it. it it is what it is you know 13 og vehicle um but yeah we already have two evil variants i doubt we're gonna get anything done to the injection at this point so if you see one off the street or even buy it off the website for 16 grand i think it's i think it's honestly worth it just to have um obviously if you're already full on space probably not but um, I've, I've always seen these driving around and, and I've never really like fully maxed one out and driven it and I'm, I'm very impressed, not gonna lie. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed, remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 or do you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet.
Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.